Dear friends, today I am going to discuss EM wave propagating EM wave propagating in a medium having some value of permeability, permittivity, but that medium is not conducting. Not conducting means connectivity equals to zero. First of all, you know very well that current density is sigma into the electric field. This is the current density, you know very well. It is a current per unit area. This is conductivity because the resistivity is ohm meter. So this is ohm inverse meter inverse E electric field. Potential electric field is potential over distance mean potential per meter. So this is you know here it is ampere per meter square. This becomes volt per ohm meter minus 2. What is volt per ohm? This is current. Current means ampere. Ampere per meter square. So it is the same. So J is equals to sigma E. This is our ohm's law. Now um, we are having a wave. I am talking about a plane wave. As a coordinate system, y axis, x axis, and z axis. Our wave is propagating along z direction. Then, if the wave is propagating along z, traveling along z, then this is a wave front at any instant, at any time t. At any time t, you know, over the wavefront, displacement, electric field, magnetic field, they all will be constants at any instant t. At any instant t over the wavefront. You see, at any time t, here over the wave front, E, H displacement, the order will be constant because the wave is propagating along the z direction. Okay. Mean, I mean, this wave front, it is in the xy plane. It is in the xy plane. So that means curly by curly x. Curly by curly x and curly by curly y of these the variation of these parameters with respect to x and y will be equals to zero at an instant t okay now you know very well del cross e is equals to minus curly p by curly t you know what it is the Faraday law of electromagnetic induction and this is also the Maxwell equation. Why? Because when the magnetic field changes with time, induced EMF is produced. Field changes with time, induced EMF then produced. Negative sign means opposition, Lenz rule. Okay. Induced CMF gives the opposition to the cause which produces it. That's mean of the negative sign. Okay. Now for the space variation, there, there mean, you know, I cap, J cap, K cap, and uh, curly by curly X, curly by curly Y, curly by curly z, then ex, ey, 
Ej is equals to minus what is B? B is equals to mu no mu H. Mu is the permeability of the medium. So minus mu curly H upon curly T. Now just to open the bracket. So what it becomes? It becomes I cap. this into this minus this into this so i cap this is curly ej upon curly y minus curly ey upon curly z plus j cap okay this into this curly ex upon curly z minus curly ej upon curly x plus k cap this into this minus this into this curly ey upon curly x minus curly ex upon curly y now this is equals to minus mu curly by curly t. Now, you know, writing it in the components, i cap hx, again plus plus mean minus is there, mu curly by curly t, j cap hy minus, you know, mu curly by curly t, k cap, HZ. Now writing the components of I cap to both sides. Here I cap components like this. Here I cap components like this. So comparing the components, then you have mu HX mu mu curly hx by curly t is equals to curly ej upon curly y minus curly ey upon curly z. Now components of j cap mu curly hy upon curly t here j cap components curly ex curly z minus curly ej upon curly x now k cap components minus mu curly hz upon curly t equals to curly ey upon curly x minus curly ex upon curly y okay so these are the these are the equations writing in components okay for a plane wave propagating along the z direction so now i'm coming the ampere slope You know what is the what is ampere law? Ampere law is del cross B is equals to mu naught mu into G plus epsilon mu curly E by curly T. This is ampere modified form where there is a conduction current and displacement current okay here current density mean conduction but in our medium there is no conduction so this becomes handwriting b b mean mu h mu del cross h is equals to epsilon mu curly e upon curly t 
empty. This mu i mu cancels. Again writing it in components. I cap, J cap, K cap, curly by curly x, curly by curly y, curly by curly z, hx, hy, hz. Then writing it components. I cap, curly by curly t, ex, plus J cap, curly e, y by curly t, plus k cap curly e z upon curly t. Now open this bracket, open this matrix, compare the components both sides of i cap, j cap, k cap. Then you will have another set of, you will have another set of equations. Another set of equations. And I think those equations will be, those equations are curly ex upon curly t epsilon equals to curly hz by curly y minus curly hy by curly z. Writing the j cap epsilon ey upon curly t is equals to curly hx upon curly z minus curly hz upon curly x and lastly epsilon ez curly t curly ez over curly t is equals to is equals to uh, you know curly hy by curly x minus curly hx upon curly y. So these equations are charge free, these equations charge free, perfectly homogeneous, charge free, perfectly homogeneous and for isotropic dielectrics. Dielectrics where Sigma equals to zero, no conductivity. Okay, now uh, this is not the end of the EM waves writing in the dielectric medium. It is a start, but you proceed yourself for the end. Okay, thank you.